Hey chickies, welcome back to Vlogtober Day 10. Today I thought I would share with you a fall outfit ideas video where I will be incorporating some of the pieces I picked up from my fall accessories haul. If you haven't seen that, definitely check it out after this video. I will link it right up here in the card area. I also picked up a few sweaters as well as some jackets. So I wanted to share those with you and how I incorporate it into my current wardrobe. If you're new here, I'm Christine. I'm currently participating in Vlogtober where I will be uploading a video every single day for the month of October. I would greatly appreciate it if you please subscribe to my channel. I would absolutely love it if you'd be a part of the Chicky crew. Also, don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new videos. So here is outfit number one. The cardigan is from TJ Maxx. I just got it the other week and I was really just drawn to this color because it's like a golden in between an orange and a yellow. I thought it'd be perfect for the fall season. It's not too thick, which I also really like, so it's great for layering. It has pockets. It's really hard for me to find a cardigan that fits properly because I am quite short. I'm four nine and a quarter, so some of them go past my knees, which looks ridiculous on me. I'm personally just not a fan of how it looks. I just paired it with a bodysuit. This is also from, I think, TJ Maxx. Paired it with a belt, and then I got these jeans just recently. These are the Lauren Conrad Midrise super skinny jeans really stretchy and they're comfortable and these are short they have regular and short even though they are short it still is a little bit long for me i kind of had to roll it up a bit paired it also with a lauren conrad bag i got this last season paired it with these leopard printed tennis shoes which i'm pretty sure you guys saw from the accessory hauls overall i just really really love the color scheme so here is outfit number two and again just a very simple color scheme we have going on so i got the cabbie hat from just fab recently um, i love the color because it's very neutral then i just paired it with a v-neck sweater it has this kind of twisty thing in the front which quite honestly, I'm not a big fan of this because you can't even really tuck it into your pants if you wanted to do that because it's quite bulky. So we just kind of have to make it work. I've had this since last season. My jeans are kind of like a faded black with uh, distress. They're distressed at the knees and also at the bottom. Then I paired it with these taupey booties from Just Fab that I also featured in the haul. And my bag is BCBG. I've had this for a couple of years now. I think it complements the whole outfit. Basically, the only new pieces I added here are the hat as well as the booties. I'm going to try to find links for everything and put it in the description box in case you're interested. So this is outfit number two. Okay, so here is outfit number three. I really, really love this one. I love the color scheme because it's very neutral with um, a pop of the leopard and then the blush pink or light pink. The v-neck sweater top is from TJ Maxx. I just got it recently. It's like an oatmeal color. It's so so super soft. I love how it's so soft that you can actually pull the neckline off the shoulder and you know it gives it that off the shoulder feel. It has bell sleeves if you guys can see they're like kind of puffy so I love that detail. I paired it with skinny leopard belt that I've had for years. I got this from Forever 21 I'd say like probably like five years ago but I found one similar I will link it down below. Then these are from Lauren Conrad. Feel good, super skinny jeans in light gray. Paired it with the Just Fab booties and then this Kate Spade bag that I got last November. So this is outfit number three. Okay, so here is outfit number four. I love this one as well because it has, again, the leopard and the blush pink accent. So I've actually had this uh, sweater top a couple, I think I got it last season. It's from Charlotte Russe. And then I'm just wearing these faux pleather like leggings they're really stretchy i think they're from shein I, i'm gonna try to find a link for them because it's been a long time but they're really really comfortable i'm glad i still have them i paired it again with the leopard printed tennis shoes and then the pink kate spade bag so this is outfit number four but i wanted to share with you a couple of jackets how it would look layered on top of this outfit here's the first jacket i wanted to share with you i just got this at marshall's it was so inexpensive it's kind of like a faux shirling 
jacket. It has kind of like that moto biker feel to it because of the straps and the buckles, which I really, really love. I love the taupey color because it's pretty neutral. It will go with practically anything. So here is how the jacket looks when I wear it. This is in a size extra small, which fits me perfectly, but my only thing about this was that I wanted to get it in a small, which they didn't have because of the arms, say if you're gonna wear a sweater like this, I feel like you would have to either wear something that's a little bit thinner so it doesn't add bulk to the sleeve. So that's the only downside, but it was so inexpensive that I just said, you know what, I'll make it work. I love the length because it fits me just right and here's the second jacket it's a levi's ex-boyfriend trucker jacket you can never go wrong with a denim i love how it's oversized the lining on the inside so it will keep you nice and warm and let me put this on since this one is oversized it fits fine in the arms it has like a bit of room for you to layer your clothing you can never go wrong with a denim jacket especially if it has the lining on the inside so I hope this video inspires you to check out what's in your closet or if you're out and about and you want to pick up a couple of accessories here and there to incorporate into your fall wardrobe, I hope it gives you a few ideas. Let me know which outfit was your favorite. So I hope you enjoyed today's Vlogtober video and found it helpful. If you did, please make sure you give this video a like, subscribe if you already haven't. I would love for you to be a part of the Chicky crew. Make sure you come back tomorrow for Vlogtober Day 11. Thank you Chicky so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I will see you tomorrow for a a brand new video. Mwah.